today, especially our elders, our elders who are among us, and also those who have already worked very tirelessly to ensure that we have a system that we can say that we are very much near to our community. Congratulations and welcome again. Today marks a great occasion in the Ethiopian Pharmaceutical Supply Service journey towards digitalizing what we gather to launch our new enterprise resource planning, our ERP, and the supply chain management system of our country. As we stand at the threshold of a new era with our ERP system fully operational, we're also poised to achieve a greater heights in efficiency, transparency, and service delivery. This milestone marks accumulation of a year of hard work and perseverance and signals a new beginning in our country. In the future, that we, or we have been saying earlier, we want to achieve a country which will be exemplary to the region, to our, to our continent Africa and beyond by 2030. But we have already been asked to challenge ourselves to shorten that period to less than 2030 and quality across Ethiopia. We also want to extend our thanks to other partners, particularly CIDOR and DELTOR. They have been very instrumental and have been tirelessly working with our team for the development of this, this, this system and dedication that they have shown that they have been pivotal in customizing and deploying the system to our country and to the, to the unique needs of our challenge. Undoubtedly, I also add the successful implementation of ERP system wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have a, success, uh, a dedicated team in our EPSS. So uh, please join me in congratulating all these donors, but also implementers, but particularly the leaders in EPSS. Please join me. But as we embark on this new chapter with our ERP system, which is, going, which is now fully operational, let us also be mindful of the impact of the lives of the countless mothers and children and the community that this will be reaching into. Efficient supply chain management directly translates to providing availability of medicines, but also healthcare products that are going to be timely and save lives. That would, that would be building a healthier community and achieving universal healthcare coverage and reaching everyone with leaving no one behind. In conclusion, today we celebrate, but also reflect and show that we have a renewed commitment to show that we are celebrating achievements, but also ensure a vision for the future. Let us also reflect on the journey that brought us here today and renew our commitment of excellency, but also quality and deliver and continue our implementation strategies by remaining our hubs, our hubs being very agile digitalizing our healthcare system in general, health facilities, reaching to the communities, enhancing our interoperability among health facilities, because it's also about health facilities being interoperable to each other, and other stakeholders who are going to be using this platform to operationalize and maximizing our integration of our end-to-end -end visibility. I would like to thank uh, Lyndon and Dr. George, and as a team member from uh, Global Fund, for the general support on ERP uh, and of course uh, the general support that can be provided through Global Fund. And in the morning, we have an excellent visit to our health center and health post. I hope you had a good experience uh, in the visit. And once again, thank you very much for the big support on ERP. Uh, and we fully hope that with implementation of ERP, uh, we'll achieve another new milestone in the health sector, especially in terms of supply chain system. 
and the, uh, the existing systems that have been in place for the last many years uh, will be enhanced and uh, data visualization, especially for the supply chain, will be enhanced. And thank you once again for the support. That's what I want to say. Olachu, right? Salam. I don't like you, Salam. Good afternoon to all. Um, it's indeed a pleasure to... In the interest of time, you hear me? In the interest of time, I will... All protocols observe, right? All, all protocols observe. Um, we are very proud to be here today as a Global Fund to participate in this launch. Over the years, the Global Fund has partnered with Ethiopia. As a matter of fact, Ethiopia is one of the strongest partners for the Global Fund. We've enjoyed a partnership since 2003, and this partnership, as this chief has today, disbursed over $3 billion. Just yesterday, we, we, uh, we further reinforced that partnership with the signing of an additional $441 million. This partnership has seen tremendous progress. With respect to HIV, as, a, as our moderator pointed out, or MC pointed out, we focus on HIV, TB, malaria, and building health systems. Additionally, this partnership has witnessed great progress with respect to that as we move towards global targets, Ethiopia is on track to achieve most of the global targets in the three diseases. More importantly, this partnership has played a key role in building the health system in Ethiopia. One of our flagship programs that we're really proud of in Ethiopia is actually our support for the Community Health Workers Program, program which is not only a flagship program, a profit program for Ethiopia, but a flagship program globally. So, so, so Global Fund is very, very proud to support this program. As I mentioned to you, you've got a long partnership with yourselves, with, global, with, with Ethiopia, and we trusted EPSS, PFSC at the time, we trusted the Ethiopian government, we trusted um, the partnership, which included the uh, PFSA, and we, and we started to work together. And today we actually, EPSS is one of our, another really great part of the Global Fund. Today's, today's launch is by no means a simple one for the Global Fund. It's very, very significant. And today's launch represents a very, very successful moment for the Global Fund. Over, we've covered, the Global Fund covers over 143 countries. Many countries have tried to roll out EPSS, to launch EPSS, um, ERP system, but this is one of the most successful ones. And I think you deserve a round of applause for that. We see great opportunity for EPSS to, to, to go one step further. I voted um, by the Honorable um, Deputy Director. His ambition is to take EPSS to become the, the best the best um, supply chain in Africa within by 2030. Let's just set ourselves a challenge to do it before 2030. Let's just set ourselves a challenge to do it before that. But for us as the, for us as a global fund, EPSS is a bunch, is a benchmark. Your procurement system, the prices you receive, the prices you receive for products, your delivery system, your KPIs, it serves as a very, very good barometer and a benchmark for us as a global fund. As an example, you, your prices are very, very competitive, and sometimes we, we use EPS as a benchmark. So we, as we, the Global Fund, as on behalf of the Global Fund, I want to recommit today um, to supporting EPS, to further supporting um, Ethiopia. And as the MC pointed out, this is not for us, this is not for this, this lovely gathering, but this is to ensure that we get the commodities to, to, the, to the community. As part of our strategy for 2023 to 2025, the Global Fund has put case communities at the center of our, of our, of our, our strategy. So we have, we have really embraced today this, this launch, which is centered around the ensuring the goods received to the, um, to the community, by the communities in the, most, in the most effective way possible. Once again, I want you to applaud yourself we will not be doubted. We uh, we doubted when the, at the beginning of this relationship, we were not smiling. Today we can smile, but the work is let's continue to work and push on so we can get to our goals before 2030. Thank you very much. Excellencies, Dr. Matlas Daba, Minister, Minister of Health. Your Excellencies, Dr. Derejan Uma, State Minister, Minister of Health. Your Excellency, Mr. Linda Moison, High Impact Africa Department Head, the Global Fund. Your Excellency, Dr. George, Ethiopian Portfolio Manager of the Global Fund. Your Excellency, higher government officials and your respected protocol. 
Excellencies, officials, and representatives of our donors, partners, and stakeholders, valued officials from the Minister of Health, Regional Health Bureau, community representative and respected Abagada, Kavajan Tota Abangada, service provider, quality control consultants from CEDOR and Deloitte, respected press representatives, esteemed executives, management members, Adam Abraj, my origin, cluster coordinators, and the whole staff of EPSS, dear invited distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude in this significant occasion. Today, we stand in our yet another corporate to make a pivotal milestone in our pursuit of service excellencies in pharmaceutical supply chain management. We celebrate the official launch of our historical Enterprise Resource Planning System, ERP, a crucial achievement of EPSS in, in enhancing the availability of medicines and medical devices, thereby bolstering and realizing our mission to improve healthcare outcomes and saving lives. Throughout the ERP implementation journey, we encountered numerous challenges, each of which we tackled with determination and resilience. From vendor selection process to overcoming data quality and verification hurdles, to, extens to extensive business process reengineering every obstacles we met with strategic solutions. I commend our team, the vendor CEDO and the consultant Deloitte, Deloitte for their unwavering operation and spirited approach to project management which ensured the minimal disruption during testing phases and successful finalization of inventory control process. In tandem with enterprise resource planning, our partnership with donors continue to fortify our last mile delivery project in reaching the unreached and underpinning our warehouse infrastructure. These instruments is not only strengthening our system, supply chain resilience, but also underscore our commitment to achieve sustainable healthcare solution for Ethiopia and realize digital Ethiopia. To our esteemed donors, partners, and stakeholders, your steadfast approach has been instrumental in our journeys thus far. As we celebrate our milestone together, I urge us to continue advancing our collective efforts to ensure the reliable supply of pharmaceuticals and medical supplies, thereby transforming lives and securing a healthier future for our community. Thank you once again to everyone who has contributed to this momentous achievement. Together we embark on the next phase of EPSS journey with renewed determination and optimism. Let me just to mention a few things on ERP. Just the ERP is in the Texas uh, Enterprise, Enterprise Resource Plan. We are not talking about enterprise, it is like finance, HR, production, sales, material management, production, we call that the enterprise. Then we are not talking about resources, if enterprise needs to manage resources, all resources should be managed. That is a, the latest point is planning part, which is enterprise needs to, to plan and the function resources for optimal uh, function or utilization. This is in short, was the ERP. Why EPSS decided to implement ERP? The most important point is we have conducted an assessment, which assessment shows around 42% of EPSS processes non value added. The margin is very high. But it is nearly 50% of all processes are non value added. And around 60% handoff. So uh, that is the major reason. The other is high growth in demand side, our community, because of different initiatives like. Community health insurance and the different schemes. There is high demand in community sites, but we are not making that the big community demand. And this is the and we are serious. Two things: the cake is cut. The system has gone live. ERP is officially launched. Your Excellency, Dr. Rita Stella. Mr. Solomon Nebuse, as well as Mr. Linden, have officially launched the ERP system, the ERP software. Congratulations. The ERP system was.